Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you a demonstration of a membership portal built using Stripe, NPM and Corvid Biwix. In this video, I'm going to show you a demonstration and then in the video description, you have the link to the blog post which contains the code where you can get the code which has been used on this video. Now on this uh, video on this side, which you see over here, you might see a lot of uh, lot of more functionality such as you have a multi-currency paid plan setup but I'm not going to show you all that I'm just going to show you how you can create a customer on your stripe account using the stripe API stripe npm and uh, save that customer's customer ID on your own Wix site database and uh, create a dynamic page which will serve as a member dashboard all right so first of all let's go ahead and refresh the page okay there we go so as you can see there are like a few functions like automatic counting numbers and stuff but again we are not going to dive into that and then you have the multi-currency paid plan setup uh, once again we're not going to dive into that so a person comes here and then clicks on choose plan now a uh, subscription payment window op opens up over here the user can see that they are paying this much per month uh, now this is like a demo site for a, a business which allows users to purchase a subscription and via their subscription they can plant a number of trees every month but again we're not going to dive into all that I just want to show you how to create a subscription and save the customer ID on your stripe dashboard so I go ahead and enter my email over here now this is a multi-stage form you can you can google and look on YouTube other coders such as code queen Naili and Wix training Academy on how to create a multi-stage form or something like that I'm not going to show you this so continue billing address one two three sweet city New York New York postal no, 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 no. country is United States phone number one two three four five six seven eight nine all right now cardholder name that is my name and I'm going to use a stripe test card all right so again this uh, this uh, this thing which you saw automatically the card logo appears uh, it's something you can code but again I'm not going to dive into that how to do that all right oh oops all right so registering you as a customer subscribing please wait And I have been redirected to my dashboard. On your dashboard, uh, what happened in the back end was, uh, I mean, sorry, on the light box was that uh, the page after it signed me up, it queried a database to get my profile picture based on the first alphabet of my name. And then here it's showing that I remember since this much, uh, January 2020. Uh, and uh, then, uh, your referral link is something that you know the users get a personalized referral link i am not going to dwell into that on how to create that because you need to have a subscription to a link shortener api and then you can give them a personalized url and then they can use that url and uh, they all the sales that will come all the subscription will that will come will be attributed to them so it's like an affiliate program but I'm not going to show you how to do that in this video and then you have again the tree count based on the plan the user chose the total paid subscription is active the card use you can change card cancel subscription subscription details and all your invoices so next month there will another invoice will appear over here with the amount of payment that has been made and if I click the download button you can see on that bottom left side that it will open up a stripe invoice but i'm again i'm not going to show all this i'm just going to show you how to uh, build the subscription portal uh, via and give you the code for it 
all right now let's go ahead and see the blog post so first of all the video which you guys are seeing will be here i'm still creating this blog and for those of you who do not know how to create a plan on stripe i've given a small explanation with screenshots on how to first create a product add a pricing plan to that product and then get the plans id okay and then for holding the subscription plans you have to set up a database now on this side which i showed you there's a lot of stuff in the database but basically you just need the display name display price description uh, of course the plan id which is important i should write down important over here and then the currency okay and uh, you need to fill in this data for example display name will be plan a display price 6.99 usd and create the same 6.99 usd plan on your stripe dashboard and enter the plan id over here on your database under this field name field key uh, give the field keys the same name so that you don't mess up anywhere and uh, for members you need to create a database with the first name last name email customer id which will store the customer id from stripe the subscription id which will store the subscription id which is returned from stripe the last four of their cards so that i can display it over here it looks a bit cool and give them the option to change card and then the card type for for example visa mastercard and then based on that i can display the logo over here and then the subscription status so uh, you will not see the 6.99 GBP as you can see that in the, this database, this demo database, I, I will not show you how to store the uh, amount and currency. So, but if you need to do that, uh, you can put down the currency and amount on your subscription plan database and then uh, save it on your paying members database after the user has subscribed. You can tweak the code uh, for your own web app as you want. Okay and for the uh, paying members database uh, set the permissions for read to site author sorry author site member author sorry site member author with this will only allow the person who has inserted the site member who has inserted this item to read it uh, set the right permission to site member and update to site member author only okay and then for displaying the plan you can just uh, Hook up, sorry. Uh, just give me a sec. Yeah, so for your, uh, you can set up a repeater and then connect the repeater to the data set. Of course, the data set will be linked to the subscription plans, SUB plans, and you can just display it as you want. If you want to learn more about repeaters, uh, I think I've provided the link somewhere here. There it is. You can click on this link and read more about repeaters and uh, yeah and this is the code that you will be entering on the so create a create a on click handler for example create a handler on click handler like this click, click on the button inside the repeater and then click on on click there will be a plus sign instead of a trash bin sign over here and then create the plan i mean sorry create the on click event and after that you enter this code so what this code is doing first of all as you can see on my website that i have a loader gif which is hidden on load and uh, on top of it i have the button so what is it's doing once the button is clicked uh, the it hides all the all the buttons inside the repeater so all three buttons are hidden so the user doesn't click on anything again because the repeat uh, the light box takes a little time to open a few seconds and then it shows the loader animation for only the i container that I, it has been clicked for so for example if i click on this container only this loader will show but all the buttons will be hidden you do that via this the first one two three four lines of the code and then you get the item the current item which has been clicked from the data set so the data set id is plans over here so as you can see the data set id is plans you get the item and then you create an object with that you name the object deploy data like i've done you can use any name doesn't matter and then you use the wix window dot open lightbox function to open the lightbox name subscribe where all my uh, subscription payment 
code is uh, located and then if for some reason the user decides to cancel this uh, payment you can have a dot then function to show all the buttons that you just hit in the beginning and uh, hide the loader animation okay and this uh, you can you, you will need to construct the user interface for the lightbox yourself so this is a user interface i'm using a multi-state box i have a total of four boxes three for collecting information and the fourth one as a loader all right and this is the main subscription payment lightbox code so actually there's like more than 500 lines of code in this lightbox uh, but to simplify it i just gave you the ones that you will need the code that you will need to create a subscription and save the customer id so first of all install the stripe npm so if you've not done it click on back no not click on back end under node modules click this gear and then click on install a package once you click on install a package this cool small window will open and then search for stripe i cannot see any results because i've already installed it you will not see that you will see the result and once you see it you click on this install button over here after that stripe will appear below your node modules good and uh, yeah, if you don't know how to do it, use the link I've given in my blog post and then create a backend.gsw file. So click on backend on the left hand panel. Oh, and before all this, uh, for all the real beginners out there, you need to click on Dave mode and then over here it will be turn on Dave mode. So you need to click on that to see all this. All right. Okay, let's continue. Under backend, click this plus function and click, click on new web module. Okay. Name your web module what it says over here which is stripe processor and uh, use this code so use this code inside it and make sure on line 5 of your backend code uh, make sure to replace line 5 with your stripe it's saying public but it's actually the secret key so it's the secret api key okay you need to do that you need to go on your stripe dashboard and then on the left hand panel click on developers and below developers api keys to get your public and secret keys okay get that and insert it over here between these two quotation marks okay after this open your public file like this public folder and create a new .js file okay and uh, this uh, click name the js file stripe so the full name will be stripe.js and just copy paste this post uh, code and replace line 5 again with your public api key this time okay so public folder public api key backend folder secret api key uh, now on the light box insert this following code so there's like i think 100 lines of code which will show you how to you can subscribe um, let me see if i can show you the actual code ah just give me a moment all right so this is your code on your light box so first of all you import the uh, libraries wix window wix location wix data wix users and then you import the backend uh, file uh, code functions that you have created which is stripe token from the public folder to process your card payments uh, sorry to process the card tokenization and then create customer and create subscription from the backend stripe processor.jsw all right now under the light boxes already function first of all you remember over here we sent the details about the plan so the plan id to the light box so you need to set it as a variable on the light box so this does exactly that and also sets the currency and then when the subscription button is clicked now over here you can't just copy paste this you need to create rules for example there will be more code for navigation to the multi-state boxes or slideshows whatever you use and then rules so for example if uh, something on your uh, let's say something on this is not filled you need to show an error uh, you can't just let them continue with uh, empty input elements so something like if uh, was the if uh, street dot value is not uh, valid then uh, don't let it proceed show an error all right so but over here i've directly done create card token so this calls the create card token function where it uh, 
it sends all the data the card data which is the card num card name card number month of expiry year of expiry cvc billing street billing city billing state billing postal code and billing country it sends that uh, and uh, it gets a re response back from stripe so if something went wrong you need to handle the error as the response id will be undefined but if it's not undefined you can proceed to create a customer now uh, as far as i know uh, if you need to just uh, create a basic one you can just copy paste this and then uh, i mean if you just copy paste this and use the user input elements create the user input elements it's going to work it's going to create your customer and then once it gets the response the customer id it will create your subscription plan so that's all it is and once subscription plan is created uh, it will sign up your member using Wix users dot register and it will insert the data the first name last name email customer ID subscription ID uh, subscription status and all that data into your paying members database so like I said the paying members database and then it will redirect them to their dashboard so I've also written how to create a dynamic page and give the URL as my dash dashboard slash uh, curly brackets and in between that capital ID and that is how you code a membership portal using stripe npm and Corvid by Wix uh, now you can this is just a basic one you can enhance it in a lot of ways it's up to you good luck and if you have any issues just post your issues in the Corvid forum